to thank my audience today. The title of my speech today is Where I Protected I Will. The purpose of the speech is to persuade my audience to wear protected what I wear on the park, a forward area refueling point. The central idea the highest risk of losing eyesight on the battlefield comes from flying travel. But these but there is a significant risk of losing the eyesight here on the park. Introduction. I injuries account for 16% of all coalition casualties in Iraq. Protected while eyewear worn properly will prevent fuel from splashing into your eyes. The Army fog re operation requires you to wear protective eyewear. Diseases are prevented when you're using your protective eyewear. In the middle of July, and the temperature is about 120 degrees or more, the sun's rays beaming down. A call comes in from the tower to the park and says a UH-58 helicopter is inbound and needs to be refueled. Sweat pouring from our heads, my battle and I grab our protective gear, our Kevlar helmet, our gloves, and our protective eyewear. We walk out to this little bird. Our job is to refuel this bird and send him on his way. My battle will connect and I and, and refuse, refuel. I will post as a fire guard. After grinding to the bird, I proceeded to my post several feet away. I watched my battle connect to the bird. He gave me the signal. I signaled the bags to start the fuel pump. The hose jumps and, a split, and for a split second, I look at my battle and see that the hose kicked back clear out of the helicopter. Fuel is shooting up into the air and splashing into his, eye, into his eyes and face. As he struggles to hang on to the pumped up fuel hole, I immediately shut the floor of fuel and pour a five gallon bucket of, of water on him. This was serious. JGA fuel will burn your eyes and your skin. My battle was soaked in it. He snatched off his Kevlar and his goggles and took a deep breath of air. Then he yelled, he said, thanks for the water because he felt like burning sensation from the fuel. He wiped his eyes and I said, can you see? He nodded yes. He might have been up to his eyeballs and fuel, but one thing was certain, he was wearing his protective eyewear, properly, which protected his eyes from fuel that could have blinded him for life. Always wear your protective eyewear properly, placing your goggles and spectacles over your head and positioning them over your eyes, The nose guard should fit firmly on the bridge of your nose. Wearing protective eyewear at the top of your head or around your neck will not protect your eyes. It might be a fashion statement, but protective eyewear is not designed for fashion. Goggles should be cushioned on the back of the rim. Wearing protective goggles protects your from fuel that can splash into your eyes when you're refueling lines, when, when you're flushing lines, or doing an aqua blow or fueling a helicopter. The Army issues soldiers protective eyewear. According to AR 385-10 and AR 670-1, all soldiers must wear protective eyewear on the park. All Army soldiers are issued protective eyewear, which is divided into two categories, goggles and spectacles. Tinted and untinted. They are usually made of anti scratch and anti fog coating. If you purchase eyewear on your own, the eyewear should have ballistic lenses. They should have a C87 rating or better. Eyewear protects your eyes from debris that's tossing out from the helicopters. When a helicopter is ready to land on the pad, a huge thrust of wind comes from the, from the rotating blades. The wind thrust can blow you over, especially if the C87. 47 Chinook. So if the winds from the helicopter are that strong, shouldn't you wear protective eyewear? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to protect your eyes from that kind of wind? With that sort of wind power, you can toss small grains of sand as well as large debris into your eyes. Let's examine some of the possible effects to the eyes. Iraq has extreme temperatures well over 120 degrees. The sun's ultraviolet rays can damage the cornea of the eye, the cornea of the eye which could leave you with serious vision problems such as cataracts. 
cataracts and macular degeneration are possible chronic effects of UV exposure, which can ultimately lead to blindness. A rat boasts some of the fierce sandstorms with winds in excess of over 40 50 miles an hour. Or better, an eye infection from blowing sand is possible. Eye infection can be prevented when you use eye protection, such as wearing goggles or spectacles. Wearing your protective eyewear properly can eliminate some of the effects of the sun and sandstorms. On the internet, I found an article in Answer.com written by Maureen Haggerty about an eye disease called pyritis. This disease occurs when small particles of foreign objects injure or become lodged in the eye. Symptoms include tearing, pain, inflammation of the eyelid, redness and disease, and decreased vision. Wearing protection can prevent these diseases from happening to you. So in conclusion, Wearing your eye protection cannot prevent the wind from blowing into your face, but it will protect your eyes from possible fuel spill and blowing sand or all the sun's UV, UV rays. Most protective gear when used on the battlefield is heavy and bulky, but the protective eyewear is the lightest part. Use it for what it is designed for, and you will always be able to see the light at the end of this deployment. Thank you.